Hi there, welcome to my video on how to use your Thinkific quiz template to set up your course quizzes. In this video, I'm going to go over the Thinkific quiz template so that you can set up your quizzes uh, using this spreadsheet and then upload it so that the quizzes are loaded much faster rather than having to type in all the questions manually. And it also saves you time so that if you don't want to use Google Forms or Typeform, um, Thinkific's built-in quiz system is very um, easy and very effective and straightforward to use if your questions are very simple. So uh, let's just go ahead and show you how uh, this template works. Um, I will have a link in the description and so uh, everything will be very clear. So this uh, template is an Excel file, but I'm going to use Google Sheets because I like Google Sheets. Um, I'll show you what I do later if I want to upload it into Thinkific. So first of all, you want to sort of, I want to go over the uh, quiz template and what it means, because I think that'll help you when you're writing it, um, your questions so that there's no confusion and errors that may come up when you're uploading it. So they've designed this uh, template into uh, two tabs just as a reference so that you understand how it works. So the questions tab is all for you to write your questions. And the instructions tab is really all the reference notes that you'll need in case you get stuck and you want to reference the documentation. Um, but this video is definitely going to be available if you want to also uh, use this as another reference. So what I'm going to do is uh, first go over the questions tab. The way this is designed is uh, every uh, box in this is meant to be filled in by you. Uh, you can add up to a total of 10 answer choices. So as you see, the max is 10. So I don't recommend uh, changing any of these headings because that will mess up the import when you upload it into Thinkific. So question type refers to short answer and or multiple answer. There are two question types in Thinkific, um, and that's just to help the system know and categorize what kind of quizzes and make sure that it's set up appropriately to make it easier for you later without having to edit. So short answer um, refers to one um, answer. I know that is a little bit confusing, but that's um, kind of an odd way of how they've designed it. So as you can see from this template, in this instructions tab, they have two types of questions that you can uh, design in Thinkific system. If you want more complex uh, types of questions or set up in your quizzes, um, then that's where I'd recommend Typeform uh, and or other tools if you'd like to make them more interactive. Um, these are really designed for straightforward, simple, uh, plain text um, types of uh, questions. So there's the choice of SA and MA. So SA refers to single answer and then MA refers to multiple answers. So the idea behind single answer is that when someone is uh, taking this quiz, uh, the single answer quiz means they can only choose one correct answer. And so we'll show you later how this all looks. Uh, MA refers to multiple uh, answer choices. And so that means here one or more answer choices that they can select. And then question text, this is required when you're setting up your quiz questions. That basically means that you want to give them the question, what the question is. So that's where you write out the question. And then answer choices, uh, like I said before, you can uh, choose up to 10. Um, but the idea is that answer choices allows you to sort of describe uh, and write out the answer choices so that's very clear for your student and for the end user who is taking the quiz that they know that these are the choices for that quiz question. And then in order for the system to know which is the correct answer, you'll just have to add an asterisk at the beginning so that this example here, and this just helps the system um, in the back end recognize that um, this is the correct answer. And so, like I said, just keep these tabs the way they are. The most important thing is to name your file. And then let's just write a few questions um, as a sample. And I know uh, this, uh, and I'm going to include like timestamps so that this video um, is a little bit um, easier to uh, follow along. 
So let's just say we're gonna create a one single answer and one multiple answer quiz. Um, let's just say our single uh, answer um, single answer question is what is the most common um, uh, what is the most common um, let me think uh, what is the most common search engine used worldwide so this will be easy I'll just say uh, um, this question refers to uh, which is the largest search engine and then I'll say uh, uh, Bing, Yahoo, Ask, Google, Amazon, just to kind of like, you know, throw it off, uh, throw off my students, not intentionally, but just to, you know, see if they really paid attention. So this is just a very simple um, quiz question. Um, oh, I forgot to add uh, this. So we can see the okay, and then that only has one answer, which most of us uh, know is Google. But now the system doesn't know until I put the asterisk here. Now let's just do the uh, multiple answer um, uh, choices. So, uh, what are the most frequently used social um, media tools? We can say Instagram, TikTok, um, uh, Facebook, and um, other. Just so I'm just uh, creating these questions. So, and so if I want to make sure that my students know, like which are the most commonly used uh, social media tools, the system will only know until I put the asterisk. So let me just put the asterisk on here. And then now that this is saved, I'm going to download this as an Excel file and then upload it into Thinkific. So now I am in my uh, Thinkific course and I'm setting this up. And if you uh, want to know how this is done, um, what I would do is take any module and then click on Add Lesson and then make sure you select Quiz. So as you can see, I have a new quiz. Let's just say uh, Thinkific Quiz Demo. And then this is all a draft right now. So either I choose to write in each question here or I click on import more questions and then grab my Excel file. I uh, give my, uh, this is my Excel file, Thinkific quizzes. And then um, now it says two questions were imported successfully. So as you can see, uh, questions two. Um, so as you can see, question two, it says, what is the most common used search engine? And then those are all my um, those questions. And that's how I know this was the correct answer because I had the asterisk here from uh, this template, Google. So now, as you can see, the quiz questions uh, loaded in accurately here. What I then wanna do is just make sure this looks okay as a student. So let's preview this as an enrolled student. And then now you can. Hey there! Just, in this oh, video, just pause that, and let's uh, look for these quiz questions. Oh, so one thing I forgot to mention is that you have to make sure that this is not set to draft because if it's set to draft, it won't show up when you're previewing. So I've made sure that I unchecked the draft, clicked on save, and now when I preview this, I can see that the Thinkific quiz demo has showed up. And so uh, this is where uh, the question. The question one is not the actual question. That's where I should have deleted that. But let's just pick one for question one because that wasn't the right question. But now let's go to question two, which is really the right uh, question. So as you can see the question, and let's just pick the answer and confirm that it's right. And that is correct. So that's just a overview of how the quiz template works. Um, the one thing, uh, one other last quick thing I'm gonna say um, to wrap up this video is that if you start writing your questions in let's say a Google Doc or Microsoft Word and then later on decide you want to use the template to make it easier uh, to upload, uh, then 
I would suggest uh, instead of uh, having to copy and paste from a Google Doc or a Microsoft Word into this template, which is very cumbersome and it takes up a lot of time, um, check out the video up here. Um, I have a video that shows you how to use Python to parse uh, your quiz questions from Microsoft Word directly into this um, quiz template. So uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, how I can help. Give this video a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching.